and welcome to The Super Amazing Project. I'm often asked many questions by my viewers. How do you get your hair like that? Are you really from England? Where are Dan and Phil? So many questions. But I'm actually here to provide an answer for a question that's never been asked. What is all this stuff in the bookshelf behind me? So join me now as we explore... Let's start down here. So first of all, we've got this. It's a, a lovely uh, British mailbox money bank. Just a couple of candle holders over here. Up here, there's a picture of me and my wife. Lovely. There's some Hello Kitties that she has. Hello Kitty. Woody action figure. This was given to me right after we saw Toy Story 3 uh, to remind me never grow up. There's a snake in my boots. That was terrible. This is one of my favourite pieces, this is, uh, this is obviously Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas, one of my favourite films. It also lights up, and that's just awesome. This is a little purple dragon that was made for us by a very special young girl named Blight. And over in the corner is Calculon from Futurama. He's a little bit dusty. All of my uh, figures, I've just realised, uh, are all doing this. And obviously, as there's a bookshelf, there's also books, like there's Dawn French. Uh, British book of useless information. So if I just open it on a random page, for example, the average British woman spends two years of her life looking in the mirror. Sir Isaac Newton once wrote in a letter that the date of Armageddon would be 2060. Only the female wasp stings. I don't know why that's British. Is that specifically a British thing? Uh, and there's some other books there. But there is one more shelf to see that is above the one that you can currently see. It is the top shelf of mystery. Join me now as we explore my favorite shelf on the bookshelf. The top shelf. As you can see, this is a veritable treasure trove of all things fandom and geekdom and all that good stuff. The, the doctor's glasses, slash these were what 3D glasses looked like. Butter beer mugs, chocolate frogs, Hedwig there, Tales of Beetle the Bard, Harry Potter English version and Harry Potter American version. Because in case you didn't know, there is an English version and American version, they're actually different in very small capacities, but they are different. There's a TARDIS here, but it's actually a, a teacup. <laughs> and it's relatively the same size inside. And yes, even wands. This one is my wife's wand. It is actually Luna Lovegoods, but it, uh, my wife got it because she can love well, you know. And I got this one. I was going to return it and get another one, but you know, once you go black. You can see as well, right in here is actually the original story of Nightmare Before Christmas. I've also got up here Gryffindor, my Gryffindor scarf. The top shelf. Thank you for joining me on an exploration of my own bookshelf. Whew, man, that was a journey and a half. And now, spooky happening. Hannah Malik says she can't sleep at night because she hears creepy music coming from the air vent in her room. What should I do? She asks. You can actually get like earplugs or a white noise machine or check the air vent. Catherine Dart says she found this picture on Twitter and thought it was creepy that there's a body mark below where the jumper is that she's pouring petrol on. But I think the spookier thing is that this girl is actually setting ablaze her ex's jumper. Beware of the ug-wearing arsonist of revenge. As always, don't forget to keep sending me your spooky happenings to at Alistair on Twitter or via email to thesuperamazingproject at gmail.com. Do keep sending me your questions if you have them. I'm more than willing to answer them. I will actually answer questions that you send now instead of just, hmm, I wonder if people wonder what's on my bookshelf and answer that. See you all next week. Bye.